This fool really wants this wall. Russell Wilson has his foot on Future's neck. And Tamar is the first black person to win Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> Girl, let's get into it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black feet neck on. has been all over the place. Do you hear me? Have you been getting your history? Do you think the Underground Railroad was truly a railroad with a train? Hey, Portia. Girl, it's so much that has happened in the last 14, 15 days. Let's recap some of the stuff. So, I don't I don't even know where to start at, but I really, really quickly want to congratulate Tamar on winning Big Brother. I would tweet her, but her girl got me blocked on Twitter. <laughs> Tamar got her ass to the top. Tamar did what she had to do. She played the game. She was cool. She was funny. She was entertaining. She used all of that energy, all that extra that she does, and she won Big Brother, and she won $200. $250,000, but I think after she get through, um, you know, with tax, I think it's $187,000, 189000 um, but either way, that's good for her because Tamar said she wants to get a house, she wants to do all that, you know, she lost that when she lost her husband, after he bit her finger back, when was that, back in 2016, I can't remember when he bit her finger or something, but Tamar and Vince are no more, um, she made, she kind of sounded like she was clear about this, so I'm happy for Tamar. I am just so glad that Sis was able to just get out of here and do it. And it's really even better for her and Candy to come in, bump heads a little bit, and reconnect and get closer. Like, closer. Come on, um, Neo. Take my deal what she had to do. Um, Big Brother was, girl, it was a mess. Miss Lola, because, girl, I, I didn't know she was black. I didn't know her. I didn't know nothing. But y'all told me she was black. Uh, but she don't claim she black, so... I don't know about that one. Uh, but Lola, girl, I, like, she got her ass backdoored, and it was so funny. Lola thought that she was really going to make it to the final. Like, her and Ricky was cool. Like, Ricky was out here, like, making it seem like they, they were bonding. And I and I felt for myself, I was like, I think he's going to backdoor her. Like, I, I just, I don't know. But when it happened, like, Lola, like, she was shook. Like, sis was like, wow. Like, wow. <laughs> and I was not surprised. I was not surprised at all. I, I saw that. Like, girl, you really, you put, like, Candy, you sent Candy home. But Candy, you made it. Now, Candy, sis, let's talk about you for a quick second. Because, Candy, your ass didn't win one damn competition. You or, or Dina. Uh, but, honestly, I, I think it was right for them to send Candy home. Because Candy is more than Dina. Dina ass is just a Lindsay Lohan's ghost. So, she can't really do much. Uh, Candy, when you hear Candy was crying when she was giving her speech, you know. <laughs> Candy was crying, giving her speech. She was trying, and they got they sent her ass home. Of course, they were gonna send her black. Girl, of course they were gonna send her home. Of course they. Um, who was it? It was. Uh, so they they end up sending Candy ass home. Ricky Wong had a household for the last time and put Lola and Dina on the block. <laughs> girl, that, Lola was so pressed. Girl, Lola had back up, like back, back, bagging it up. You the king. Of, you the queen of talking shit, but you back out the door. Girl, she sent your ass home. I'm so happy. I knew immediately that um that nobody was gonna vote for Ricky. Ricky is trash. He was he was garbage. Um and all that. Yeah, I, I knew that he, he wasn't gonna win. So take my inner winning. Congratulations to her, girl. Pay off that debt, get your chicks, and do what you got to do, sis. And y'all know yesterday was Valentine's Day. And everybody was posting stuff, girl. You got um, Gucci Mane had got Keisha this big ass sixty carat ring, ring, and it was just so ugly. Like I, I, maybe I, maybe my eyes are poor or something, and maybe I just can't see it. But the nothing about their ring was really cute at all. Uh, Russell Wilson is out here doing everything for Sierra, and girl, his foot is all on Future's neck. Like he took a picture of the G wagon and said, "He isn't hers. He isn't hers." Um, I think that's cash on. Okay, cash on. But yeah, it's cute for them. But I really am not a fan of folks like people with obscene amounts of wealth. I just I don't like when they do that. Like I just I just don't think I, something about it just does not seem right. It just doesn't sit right for me. And I, I'm not one of those folks that do stuff like that. Take pictures of prize possession stuff. I feel like, I guess it's for me, is that I know that it doesn't take but a fan of snap for me to lose all of that. So I'm not gonna post any of that. Just And I, I don't, I don't, I just don't like bragging like that. I don't see the purpose of bragging on like stuff that you purchase with money. But let's back up on Gucci Man. 
Cause Gucci man, now they say you out here spending all this money for the bling, for Keisha Kaior, but you out here like your your child needs some extra funds and you ain't making it happen like girl. Like the girls are dragging you and they said, while you sitting here doing that, you need to be trying to make sure that you update your um your coin, your cash flow. Uh, to the court so they can so this woman can get more money and you know these folks like oh well She don't need that much money to raise a child that, that there's something completely disgusting about a man Making five million dollars like worth all this money living this luxury life and then their child uh, Is not like that's something I don't care if you're with the partner or not I just don't care if you're not with them y'all ain't cool. That's just not right like if, if it's that bad you need to go to judge and you need to talk to some folks and get that child in your life. But that's something about this just not sitting right with me. Gucci Man and Keisha K. Or a wannabe A. I just, I'm not a fan of neither one of their asses, honestly. I just, some about them just don't sit right with my spirit. Um, and I just, I don't, I don't like their flossy ass. And that they, I'm so glad that they ain't got no damn TV show because I really don't give a damn about neither one of them. But girl, I'm not hating. Let's move on to the next shit. The child see T.I. and Floyd Mayweather go at it. So y'all know T.I. released a song that basically just dragged the other dog shit out of um, Floyd Mayweather. Um, he had a picture of him with some Gucci, with the Gucci, you know, problematic blackface attire sweater thing. And T.I., you know, I didn't listen to the song. I, I, I'm just not a T.I. fan at all. I'm not finna support him. Even if he come there, Floyd Mayweather, um, I'm not fucking with T.I. because he's homophobic, transphobic, and a lot of other shit. I, I, he's toxic as hell. I don't fuck with him. And uh, Floyd May Mayweather is a known abuser. I don't fuck with him. So both of them can battle themselves out and do whatever they got to do. I, I really don't care, girl. I just, I really don't. But um, Floyd Mayweather responded to T.I. And girl, he roasted the dog shit at his ass on Instagram. We know that shit did what he did right that shit himself. Floyd Mayweather, you know, responded and said that we are so quick to jump up in this, in this culture of, you know, trending stuff and all this outrage culture. That automatically let me know what his place is in society. One of the folks who think that political correctness is something, um, some real thing, and it's a damn, is a scheme that white Republicans, conservatives have made up uh, to make it seem like their ass ain't doing no evil behind the door, fucked up shit, girl. And that's exactly what that is. And I don't, I don't mess, I don't mess with Floyd Mayweather. It didn't surprise me, but the the, the response, girl, that shit was funny as hell. And like the most current boycott and digital outrage, I wanted to take the time to address a couple of issues that I myself have trouble wrapping my mind around. For instance, why would we as a people agree to a temporary boycott of Gucci for merely three months if what was done caused so much strife? Why wouldn't we agree to a permanent boycott of Gucci as well as other merchandise that fall under the Keurig ownership such as YSL, Balenciaga, Alexander McQueen, and more? I'll tell you why. It's because in this day, celebrities and failing artists pick and choose the hottest trending topic as a means of seeking attention and using fake advocacy as their platform when they're telling it no longer benefits them. It's common knowledge that these luxury brands aren't being purchased on a large scale by the black communities that you portray you're advocating for, yet you use these emotions of our people that are already suffering with countless issues within their own home front that you conveniently pay no regard or respect to. The same celebrities stirring the pot over brands that they without no doubt, without doubt, will continually buy are the same artists that inject rap lyrics filled with drugs, murder, and sexual promiscuity into the very black communities you're pretending to care so much about. These celebrities are proud, deadbeat fathers, unfaithful husbands, using their platforms to rally troops against luxury brands, yet have been the prime contributors of influence and destruction of our people by way of their musical content and imagery. Should we boycott their music rec and record label and record labels as well, or do we learn to communicate and bring solutions to the problem we're facing as a whole? As a retired, wealthy, and successful man that has promoted a drug and alcohol free lifestyle, but abuse like abusive lifestyle as well. Girl, cut this shit out. I am a connoisseur of fine quality and top of the line brands, however, unlike many of these new money. Celebs, I never forget where I came from. Decades before a dapper man became a designer for Gucci, I supported his work creativity consistently and never stopped. Not many of you can say that most of you took your money in into the same high-end boutiques and didn't think twice about leaving our brother and le legendary designer behind until Gu Gucci put their stamp back on him. That's where your hypocritical outrage should be. Bottom line, if you know better, do better. Start with your own homes and content that you mass produce 
and sell to your very own. Take a look at how you're representing your people before asking someone else to do so. Whoo, back, back dragging it up. I don't know how to feel about that. Now, he did drag T.I. rightfully so. Um, and we know Floyd Mayweather. If he did write that shit, he took some time, but whoever wrote that shit, it was cute. See how it still smelled like elitism, it still reeked of classism, um, anti-blackness, all that shit was still in there. I just, mmm. Like, a, I just, like, this notion that rappers out here putting out bad energy, like, girl, I just, I don't have time. But, um, and girl, you out here doing all type of, like, you be the same one coming in. Like, you used to, like, come out here and with fights with that type of music. So, you used to call yourself the money team. Like, cut. Like, I'm not, girl, both of y'all, like I said, y'all can go in, in an arena and box it out, and that'll be all, and I really don't care. But I did find this shit fun this head, because I'm glad that somebody actually is out here dragging T.I. Uh, somebody just as toxic as him. And this whole notion that we need to stop, I don't have any money to buy no Gucci. I'm not buying no damn Gucci. Y'all need to put y'all money where y'all mouth is and, support, and start supporting these black uh, designers like I just don't understand like how y'all have all this you know this influence and stuff and y'all take out ass on these rare carpets and yet continues to wear, wear Gucci um, Chanel and all these other shit like it's it's a mess so while recording this I just found out that Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed have reached a settlement with the NFL you know they both have not played football I think what well, Colin Kaepernick I know for a certain has not played since 2016 they both kneeled back in 2016 and it's been so many repercussions and stuff behind that and Colin Kaepernick hasn't been able to sign with any team and all that. So now both of them have settled with the NFL. Girl, the, the, um, the figure has been undisclosed. We don't know at this time um, how much it is. I doubt we will ever find out how much it is. But I would not be surprised if it's in the like the 40 to 60 million. Like, ah, uh, I wonder. I wonder how much you, what do you think? Let me know in the comments how much you think that Kaepernick got, um, they got. How much y'all think they got? They settled. Basically, that means that the NFL lost. Like, I, I just, I, I don't think that Colin Kaepernick and was like, girl, I ain't got shit to lose, so fuck this shit. So now, they had to pay up for, like, what y'all did to him. Uh, what is the next step? Do we now support the NFL again? Do we watch them? Are we done with the boycott? What did the boycott look like? Were we ever boycotting to begin with? I guess we'll find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I don't watch the NFL stuff. I do not watch any of that stuff, girl. I do not eat green eggs and ham, so I'm not bothered. Like, all this stuff that we talking about, boycotting and doing this, I don't necessarily participate in. I think the only thing that I do that's trash is probably eat Chick-fil-A, and I just had that shit yesterday. I wanted to talk about... I, for a quick second, I did want to talk about Justin Smollett. Now that I'm recording on you all, know I did a live and I basically just watched the interview that he did with Robin Roberts. Um, and I'm just getting reports now that it's saying that the two individuals um, are now in, like in custody and they've been like they've been charged with battery. I'm assuming um, the two Nigerian men that was on. Uh, you know, in Nigeria after, like, they left the U.S. and went to Nigeria after this attack. I don't know. We don't know when. Um, all this stuff with Justin Smollett and, and this attack, is start, it's like everything is starting to come to the light. Um, at this current time, they're not saying that it's a hoax, but they're not saying that it's not a hoax. So, you read how that is. Um, I... Mm, I'm not sure. Um, which is going to be interesting because we just got an email and I don't want to give it away too much But we just got an email not too long ago about um, talking about this conversation um, on the grapevine And it's gonna be very very complicated considering all the, the, the things that's going on and Ooh girl, I don't know so y'all like y'all be shouting out and um, you know putting y'all finger crossed and stuff for, for the culture girl We got to go in and have a conversation about that and some other things. So um, we have not confirmed completely if we're going to uh, Record the new episode new season of great vibe, but hopefully everything works out girl things are expensive New York is expensive hotels in New York are expensive flights are you know a little bit up there. So yeah Yeah, 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 yeah so, I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. I hope you had a chance to check out the newest episode of For the Culture Podcast that dropped Wednesday. We've received so much support and love from you all. You are loving the new sound, the new everything. And shout out to all the folks who took a couple of dollars out their pocket to be able to push some black culture forward. Like, stuff like that was, you know, you made it possible for For the Culture Podcast to be able to have this new equipment. You made it possible for King and Reese to be able to continue doing what they're doing. So, we appreciate you all. I, none of that stuff will be forgotten. I love y'all so much. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all weekend. Be safe and enjoy your day and I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye.
taking a picture of him. 